Hey there and welcome to the Brain Checkers YouTube channel, India's largest career counseling company. Today we would be discussing about important tips and how to apply for FAFSA. The FAFSA, officially known as the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, is the form that families fill out to apply for federal grants, loans, and work-study funds for college students. You can find out more about the FAFSA, including the deadlines for completing it, at the Federal Financial Aid website. Once you're ready to begin the FAFSA, keep these tips in mind. Begin your FAFSA process by creating a FSA ID at fafsa.gov. It's your personal code for submitting the FAFSA when you're ready. Your FSA ID will give you access to FSA online systems and can serve as your legal signature. Submit your FAFSA as soon as possible. Federal student aid applications can be submitted starting on October 1st at fafsa.gov. Federal financial aid is awarded on a first-come, first-served basis, so know your deadlines and apply as early as you can to maximize your financial aid. College and state financial aid deadlines vary by state. Check your state's financial aid deadlines. Apply for the FAFSA annually. You need to fill out the FAFSA each year that you are planned to be a student. The FAFSA is used by schools to put together your financial aid package for one year of college. How to file the FAFSA to get federal financial aid. To file your FAFSA, you'll first need to gather the documents you'll need to reference. Then complete your application at fafsa.gov. Step 1. Gather all the information you'll need. Your driver's license and social security number. You may need your parents' social security numbers and birth dates. Your family's latest federal income tax returns. For example, if you're applying for financial aid for academic year 2019 to 20, you'll likely use your family's 2017 tax return. W-2 forms. Bank statements. Information on your family's investments, real estate, money market funds, stocks. Step 2. Bookmark fafsa.gov. This is where you get your federal student aid, FSA. ID and submit the FAFSA. Don't fall for scams. The only site you should use to fill out and file the FAFSA is fafsa.gov. There's no charge for submitting the FAFSA. The site also has the most up-to-date information on upcoming changes. Step 3. Submit your FAFSA. The easiest and fastest way is to file the FAFSA online or with the Miss Student Aid mobile app. For either option, you'll need to use your FSA ID, made up of your username and password. Your application will be processed within 3 to 5 days. You can mail in a paper application, but the processing time will take about 7 to 10 days. What happens after your FAFSA submission? After you submit your FAFSA, you'll get your Student Aid Report SAR, from the Office of Federal Student Aid. Your SAR is a paper or electronic document that gives you basic information about the FAFSA data you submitted, including your answers to the questions on your FAFSA. Your SAR won't tell you how much financial aid you'll get. If you provided an email address when you submitted your FAFSA, you can expect to receive your SAR within a few days of electronically filing or within two weeks of mailing. After you receive your SAR, you'll get a financial aid offer from the schools you have been accepted at. Financial aid offers tell you how much aid you're eligible for at that school. With this we come to the end of our video, thank you for watching, if you loved this video please like, share and subscribe to us. Bye.